Hey, how's it going? I'm Nat. Welcome back to Newsbreak for 2024. The world famous Mona Lisa has had a soup makeover. Ooh, here's Joe to explain. This is the world famous Mona Lisa. And this is her being smothered in pumpkin soup. So what's going on? Well, recently in France, there've been some big protests around food. Farmers have blocked streets with their tractors, calling on the government for better pay and protection from cheap imported produce. But what does that have to do with the Mona Lisa? Well, the group responsible for Mona's souping were using the popularity and global attention the artwork gets to try to spread their food sustainability message, asking the public if art or the right to healthy and sustainable food was more important to them. It's not the first time we've seen this kind of thing, with lots of other famous artworks targeted by protesters in the past, including poor Mona. But a lot of people think there are better ways to get your point across. It's disgusting to treat art that's really valuable for the history of humankind that way. Luckily for Mona, she lives behind a piece of bulletproof glass, so is undamaged and back to her pumpkin soup free life. US rapper Doja Cat has taken out this year's Triple J Hottest 100 with her TikTok famous song, Paint the Town Red. She's the first female rapper to take the crown and the first woman of colour to do it solo. Although some were a bit disappointed the top gong went to a mainstream international artist instead of homegrown talent. Meanwhile, Aussie G Flip had a record breaking seven entries and came in second with their song, Worst Person Alive. Thank you to everyone that voted for me so much. It means so much. The Australian Open wrapped up last night with a new face holding that championship cup. Here's Michelle. It was winner winner Yannick Sinner at last night's Aussie Open final. Sinner seals the deal. Two sets down, Italy's Sinner clawed his way back to victory against Daniel Medvedev to claim his first Grand Slam. I wish that everyone could have um, my parents. They never put pressure on myself, and, and, and I wish that this freedom is, is, is possible for as many young kids as possible. Arena Sabalenka took out the women's championship against China's Qin Wen Zheng, making her the first woman to win back-to-back -back Aussie Opens in 11 years. Sabalenka defends the title. While Aussie Matt Ebden won the doubles tournament in straight sets, alongside India's Rowan Bopana. In cricket, the West Indies have pulled off their first test victory in Australia since 1997. Oh, no! He's got it! He's got it! beating Australia by eight runs in the second test at the Gabba. The series wrapped up one all, so the Aussies will hold on to the trophy by default until next time. Australia's Diamonds have powered to a 69-49 victory over England to win the Nations Cup. It means they've now won every trophy they've competed for since 2022. Now that's definitely not to scale. Kind of like these next stories. <laughs> Ooh. First up to the canals of Venice, where this giant rat-shaped boat was seen leading the annual carnival water parade. But just when you think it couldn't get any better, cue the balloons. <laughs> Ooh, that is a sight. The water parade marks the start of Venice's carnival, which goes until mid-February. Now back home to Darwin's very first Lego Expo. I made some ocean and it's next to the grass. Inside, prized pieces were on display and some of them were easier to move than others. I had to carry it downstairs to get it to the car. Um, and before that, I had to move it to a different room in the house because my room was getting repainted. And finally, meet F. Roos, the surfing dog. Yep, he might be on the smaller side for a surfer, but trust me, he knows how to stay on board. His owner is a surfing instructor and says the same techniques he uses to teach humans how to surf also work to teach dogs. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh.